Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I wanted to show you um, a lick that I've been faking my whole life that I finally wanted to get down. And I actually made a previous video before this and I spent about an hour practicing and I took an isolated track from Slash, I thought, and I learned it note for note. I slowed it down. I showed the whole process. But when I got finished with it, I compared it to the actual album version. And it turns out that the isolated track that I was learning from was actually from some other take or something. So it wasn't even right. So that's a good lesson for all of us to follow is don't always believe that an isolated track on YouTube is the actual album version. Okay, that's the mistake I made. So I spent a couple hours just learning it the wrong way. And I went on some videos and I was watching in, you know, super slow motion, uh, you know, Slash actually playing it. And then I actually went and slowed down the real version of it down to about 25%. So it sounded crazy, but I was able to get all the licks out of it, all the notes. So I want to share you share with you guys what I figured out. And uh, hopefully it can get you to play this part correctly. I know I've been faking it my whole life. Whenever I came to this part of the song, I would just hit the wah pedal and just go crazy and hope for the best. But I think I finally have it down as far as the notes go. Not really up to speed yet, but I'll get there. Okay, so here's what I have now. The beginning, we just start off with... Alright, so we have a nice little... And in the recording, you can hear him actually palm mute that a little bit. So when you have a little bit more gain to it. So that's the very first part. Okay, we're going to go without the wad first so you can hear everything. And then we're going to add it later for the full effect. Okay, so those are the first few notes. Now it gets really weird because the tab book that I was using as well is uh, a little bit off when it comes to some of these parts, okay? Like for example, the tab book says to go like that. So tab books aren't always right, even though you would think they are because they're printed and uh, it seems like it'd be gospel, but it, it rarely is, okay? All right, so continuing on. Then our pinky, by the way, we're down a half step tuning. We're going to go to the 10th fret and we're going to slide it up to the 12th fret, which I saw him do on a live video. Okay, so far so good. Then we reach up with our index finger to the first string, 8th fret, which is C. Now I realize if we're down a half step, it's not really C, but I'm just going to go with the standard tuning notes when I explain them. Okay. So that part took took me a while to figure out as far as how to play it, but that little slide and stretch is the best way for me to do it, plus that's how Slash does it. Then just come back to the 12th fret 2nd string with your pinky. Now we're going to hit some interesting notes that are outside of the basic scale. We're going to go to the 11th fret of the 1st string. Like that. So we have... Notice how we keep returning to this 12th fret. I used to think that he slid backwards to the 7th fret, but he never does that, at least in this live version that I saw. And then if you compare that to the recording, uh, you hear it, he never slides back. He just comes back to the 12th fret of the 2nd string. And you do a lot of climbing. It's an interesting feeling to go from the 8th fret to the 11th fret. Continue climbing. So you gotta get pretty slick at that. Pick the first few notes, slide into the next one. Okay. This is such a relief to finally learn this note for note. No longer do I have to fake it and feel nervous and <laughs> cover it up with effects. So appreciate you guys coming along, coming along with this journey with me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then we continue up. This time we're gonna go 12th fret, 14, 15. Then we come backwards till we reach down here. Then my favorite part, 
We go to the 14th fret, first string, to the 11th fret again. Strikes back. Got the big bend at the end. So I'm going to play this kind of slowly um, and accurately so I can just get in the flow of it and then we'll speed it up in a second. I love how he does that bend release to a pull off and then a quick bend again. It's such a slash move to do. Okay, I think we're pretty much there. I'm gonna double check with my phone really quick because I'm not gonna have what happened last time happen again. That was like three hours kind of thrown away, but I shouldn't say that because I learned a lesson from it. But uh, with recording, learning, and practicing, it took about three hours and then I just have to relearn it anyway, so. Okay, here's the real version. So what's a little hard to hear is the very end. Sounds like it's two bends, but I'm, I have a feeling he's going... Because that's kind of like I said, a slash thing. But let's double check it one last time. Okay, I'll let you guys decide what you want to do. Here's option one. Just go to the next part. That last bend, by the way, is the first measure of the next part. I'm going to do this because it sort of catapults you into the bend a little cooler. So it's... like the way that feels a little bit better okay so once again my personal preference and it's so close you could still say you're being very accurate with the solo you're just maybe throwing a little twist in there or at least I am to make it flow a little better going into the next part okay let's try to speed that up a little bit remember the first two notes are kind of a muted sound Let's add a little bit of wah, see what happens. Because I'm relearning it and doing all these new things, I'm probably gonna have to work on it for a little while, maybe for the rest of the night, go to sleep. Remember that trick where you practice right before bed, then you wake up and it's really solidified in your brain? That's what I think I'm gonna do tonight. But uh, let's give it one more try with the wah pedal and see if we can get it as close as possible before I, uh, Call it a night here. Okay, that's gonna have to do for this video. Unfortunately, it's super late now because of all my mistakes I made earlier, but hopefully you guys could get something out of that second draft. And uh, I'll leave you some tab to help you out as well. But that's the closest I've ever gotten to actually playing that part. So it's kind of a relief. I've been running away from it my whole life, but finally faced face the demon but uh awesome so that'll be fun next time i play that live hopefully i can pull it off all right guys we'll catch you soon hopefully we'll do more of these uh, you know uh, done with faking it videos i don't know i'm going to call it quite yet but i've got a handful of licks that i've always sort of just skimmed through never really learned perfectly and i want to take you guys with me on my journey to finally getting those down okay if you have any uh, requests for any licks that you guys uh, fake all the time you want me to get into some detail with it also, I'll uh, leave those in the comments, okay? All right, guys, take care.